Hello, you welcome. It's Henry the Computer Guy. We are still talking about the introduction to ICT. So, welcome to our lesson number three. And we are today going to look at the meaning of ICT. What does ICT stand for? The I specifically stands for information. The C stands for communication. And the T stands for technology. They are telling us that ICT can be defined as a set of technological tools and resources used to collect, communicate, create, disseminate, store, and manage information. For example, many of you get audios, videos, you keep them on your laptop at home. You store the information there. Many people, for example, musicians, have used computers to make the videos that you always watch over the TV. That is ICT. Television stations make adverts for people. How are those adverts being made? Computers are used to come up with that, and that is ICT. So we can use ICT to connect or communicate to different people in different areas. One person is in USA, one person is in Uganda, one person is in Kenya. You can communicate to each and every person in those locations. So specifically, ICT is not only as a single thing, as I told you. It is just a collection of all of them. Let's say I'm using a phone, I'm buying data, I'm calling another person. So I see it is specifically a collection or a set of those tools that help us to come up with a common goal. For example, you want to communicate. You need a phone. You need to, to buy airtime. Then you need to make that call. So that is it specifically how we can define ICT. Or we can actually say ICT is a branch of engineering that deals with computers and telecommunication. It used to create, manage, store, retrieve, and transmit information. You having your information you've collected, how am I going to put it or deliver it from one component to another component? How am I supposed to deliver it from one country to another country? That's where internet comes in. You can attach it. You can send it. For example, you want to send a video to someone. You've used WhatsApp to send those videos. You've used the emails to communicate to people all over the country. So ICT, as I've been telling you, it is not a single item, but learner a collection of all those tools that can help us, for example, to create, manage, store, and transmit our information. Remember, information in ICT is something that has a meaning. Whenever I talk about information, information is something that has been converted to a meaning. Before, it is always termed as data. Data which are the raw facts or figures entered into the computer. When the computer processes them, they get a meaning. So we term them as information. So it includes computers, mobile phones, internet, wireless networks, and other communication media. As I told you, ICT is not one single item. It is a collection of different tools or items. For example, you can use a phone or a computer. You connect it to internet and make research. You can use a mobile phone. You buy, let's say, airtime. You communicate. You have a mobile phone. You connect it to the internet. You make your research. ICT is not a single item, but rather a collection of different items or tools. So let's refer to the diagram below. So 
So we have some common ICTs and they are telling us to identify them. It is figure 1.1. You actually, first of all, going to identify for me these ICTs. We have that first one. I think you have ever seen something called Wi-Fi. You know, we call it Wi-Fi, but you have ever seen that. It is Wi-Fi. If you have ever used a phone, you can connect to someone's hotspot using Wi-Fi. And in full, it is called the wireless fidelity. We shall see. You have ever used that or you have it at home, which can help you to actually be connected, that can, as, can actually be connected to your TV to get the signals. Let's say you have your DSTV, you have ever seen that thing outside connected to your TV. You have that one, and that is a, it is used for making what? Calls. And it is a telephone. This is a dish, this is a telephone. This is a radio. What is it used for? Broadcasting news. You're at home. They say back down in the village. You need to listen to some news. You can put on a radio. It is used to broadcast news, music, and others. Then we have that one. It is called Bluetooth. If actually wanted to transfer a song from one phone to another, how can we do that? You can connect those two or you can transfer that song between the two mobile phones using your Bluetooth. Or you have your laptop, connect to it and a phone. You transfer the data you feel that you want. We have a computer set, the whole of it. We have a monitor, the system unit, the keyboard, the mouse. That is a computer set. What do we use it for? We can use it to keep our data at home. We can use it for businesses. Connecting to the internet and make research at home. Then we have that one, a mobile phone. We call that one a smartphone. What do we use that one for? We use that one to make calls, send SMSs, chatting with our friends if we have data, and others. Then we have the headphones. You have your device. You want to listen to music without actually disturbing other people. You want to listen to it alone. Actually, many of them are either wired or wireless. You can use a wire to connect to your phone, or it can either be using wireless, such that you listen to the music when it is wirelessly connected to your phone. That is a microwave. What do we actually use it for? You're at home. You want to warm fodder. It is actually cold, but you want it warm. You can actually put it in a microwave. It will be warmed. Then we have a satellite. What do we use it for? To see what's going on over the world for communication. Many of you have gone to, let's say you have actually connected to your TVs, you want to, let's say, watch football, maneuvering arsenal, how do actually those pictures come to your TV? They are actually directed by the satellite to your dish. That's why it is always kept pointing up, such that it gets a clear signal. That is internet. Many of you have connected to internet for making research. Working from home, chatting to your friends, that is internet. Then we have a smart TV. Many of you have these TVs at home. You can even use them to connect to internet. You can watch YouTube videos over your TV at home. It can be connected to Wi-Fi. You can connect internet to it, then see what is going on all over the world. And that is software. Remember, in the beginning, I talked about software. And these are programs we put on our computers. Or the programs we install on our computers. 
to tell the hardware to do something. Remember, hardware are the physical or the tangible components. They cannot do the tasks alone. They need a software or a program to direct them to do something. For example, you have a printer, you have a computer, but you want a print out from that printer. How will it know that this person needs this item from me? You'll actually install the software to direct it. Are we together? You have phones. The phone is hardware, but on it, it has some programs that can make you do your other activities that you want. Then we have that as a network. What is a network? Connection of two or more computers from what we call a network. For, for example, it can be for purposes of, uh, let's say, sharing resources. You have seen in your computer labs at school, you can either be having one printer in the computer lab, but having many computers in the room, how can we use those computers to print using one printer? We connect them to a network. So it's like a connection of two or more computers for purposes of sharing resources. So all these computers can communicate to that printer when they are connected to the same network. network. And you don't need to move from one place to another to go and print. You just use a network. So these are actually the names that we have been talking about. And the first one we said it is the wireless fidelity. It is a satellite, dish, then the telephone, radio. We have the Bluetooth, computer set, the smartphone, the headphone, the microwave, the satellite, internet, smart TV, software, and a network. We continue. And other common ICTs are here. So in this lesson, you will help me to identify them. I think you've seen most of them at your home or in your school. So take time, take your time, and actually identify them for me. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share the link to your other friends. It's been Henry the Computer Guy. Bye-bye. I sign out.